Welcome to the Kirby Cove free system update. We release these periodically, about once a year. Everyone who's connected to Wi-Fi will see a little blue dot in the right corner, top right corner of the interface. That will mean there's a system update available to you. Take advantage of that. In this case, we're adding some new features to the create menu, so polygons and slots. What does that mean? Less starting up a computer and creating there, more work directly at the workbench, more woodworking with your origin. We're all about accuracy, flexibility, and efficiency with our workflows. And we also have one more product that you'll require the system update to take advantage of, the Shaper Connected Caliper. So the caliper enables you to measure precisely as you would with any caliper, but it has the added advantage of wirelessly transmitting that to the origin calculator. So what does this eliminate? Mistakes, typing. It enables you to maintain that thousandth of an inch accuracy you're familiar with with Origin. And just means you're much more rapid and uh, in control of your processes on Origin. So we'll unpack that in a second, but let's just go through the standard features first. So let's take a look at the slot feature. So it's under create slot. This is a little convenience feature. So I've got a grid active here and I'm just creating geometry the same as I would with say rectangle, that sort of thing. This just saves me calculating the radius. So it's gonna radius the short edge. So I'm gonna come to the left, click and then start moving. You'll see that short edge is getting a full semicircular radius. And the same if I go down, always the short edge gets the radius. So if I move to the right, you'll see my slot forming and I don't have to run around setting this radius dimension and I see the results as I go. So it's super convenient for things like handholds, tenons, stop dados, that sort of thing. It's a shape you're gonna find yourself creating a lot and we've just made it simpler to find and easier to use. So this is a huge win. A lot of people have been requesting this. No longer do we need to go to a computer to prepare a polygon. Say we wanted to capture a nut uh, or make a knob right on origin. Now we can do it right at the workbench with our wood in front of us. So that's the name of the game here. Keep you in command and not doing science in an office. You're doing woodworking in your workshop. So we can enter dimensions. So I could say, you know, 50 millimeters wide. Obviously that can be inches, whatever. And it will automatically calculate the other dimension so that all the edges are the same length all the sides, then we can enter the side count and it will update accordingly. Now, keep in mind, we are talking about the bounding box. So this is the, I'll, I'll make it a triangle so it's more clear. So this is the center of the triangle bounding box. So keep that in mind when you're placing it. So if I use the bottom left, I can snap to that. Because I got a grid active, it's going to you know remain orthogonal to my grid. And then I just place and cut. So that makes sense. So if we're to click and drag, it behaves much the same way we do in regular geometry with origin. Click once, that's the center point, start moving, and I'm defining this dimension here. You'll notice if I move vertically, it's snapping to my grid points. And if I move horizontally, it's doing the same. And it remains orthogonal to my grid. Whereas if I move off axis, so now I'm sort of at 45 degrees or something, now some of my edges are starting to get a little at arbitrary angles. So if you ever are dissatisfied with the orientation, just remember to move to either X or Y for dragging. Now, if we turn grid off, you'll notice with the snapping removed, it makes a lot more sense, right? You'll see what's going on. It's going from the center point to this first vertex. So if you don't have a grid and are just sort of eyeballing things, that'll make sense. The moment you add the grid, you start to, it's helping you in many ways, but if you're at an angle, it could get a little confusing. So just keep an eye on that and you'll be good to go. Origin is designed so that when we scan, we produce a workspace. So what is a workspace? That's this, it's recognized the tape. It enables us to return to a project and continue cutting. So if I hit under scan, I hit the workspaces folder, these are all the workspaces on this machine. I only have three. That's because I've just reset it. But if I had, you know, some of you may have a thousand or, you know, I've got machines with a lot on them. And people want to clean that up. Like occasionally, you know, I can go through and delete individual. There we go. I've just deleted one workspace. But if I had a thousand of them, it's not very fun to go through and hand delete each one. So if you're 
The type of person that wants to get rid of everything and have a fresh, clean workspace folder. Keep in mind, you are never going to be able to return to any project you have got in process. So if you've got a fixture and you've always got tape on it and you always produce a particular part in that fixture, that is going to vanish. That is only stored on this machine in the workspaces folder. It's not synced to the cloud. You cannot undo this. So keep in mind, this is a heavy handed approach to just get rid of every single workspace on your machine and never have to think of them again. Now, if you want to do that, you go to the settings menu, you go to Kirby Cove, and then down here we have the available space. So this is the hard drive on your device and it's designed to accommodate, you know, a huge number of workspaces. We haven't had people fill up their hard drives yet. So don't feel you have to do this. This is just for people that want to, you know, be sort of super clean up their tool and, and make it easier to browse their workspaces folder for uh, projects. Now you just hit delete all workspaces. It will remind you, are you sure? Cannot be undone. And your tool, when you do this, will reboot. So I'm hitting accept. It's deleting every workspace on my local hard drive, not everything. So your tool remains calibrated, you know, all your Wi-Fi settings remain the same. Everything else remains the same. You've just cleaned that one area out. So now when this comes back up, the workspaces folder is empty and will be prompted to start scanning, to produce our first workspace. So you'll see here, this is like a brand new machine as far as the workspaces folder is concerned, where it doesn't know anything about this tape. We're looking through the camera, a live feed. Now if we go new scan, start scan, now we're creating the first scan to go in here. That is now my first workspace. And if we go into the scan workspaces folder, you'll see I'm looking at all workspaces and there's only one in there. Yeah, if you've got more uh, workspaces than you know what to do with, and there's none in there that you want to keep, consider that. Otherwise, just keep using your origin the same way you always have. There's no need to do any of this. Should you want to, it's there. So let's talk about Shaper's Connected Caliper. With the launch of Kirby Cove, we offer the ability to sync with connected devices like the Connected Caliper. In order to use the Connected Caliper, your tool has to be updated to Kirby Cove. So let's take a quick look at them, what they do, and a quick showcase of how they work. So here's an application where we measure our stock. We've cut out our positive elements, transmit them directly to our pocket depth and set about cutting that to the predetermined depth. Once we're happy with that outcome, we'll just measure it again with the connected caliper. We're not transmitting this, just confirming. And now we can confidently know that these all install with absolutely minimal sanding required. You'll see in these examples, the connected caliper will become a natural part of your workflow. You'll be measuring geometry, depths, diameters, you name it, and then just confidently cutting with origin at that exact dimension every time. Now it's not just limited to origin, we can also use these with other devices. So should you want to manipulate something or take some accurate dimensions in studio, you just power up a laptop or a uh, tablet and go right ahead and use the same principles. But first we'll disconnect from origin and then connect to these other devices. We have another deeper dive video linked below so click on that if you want to learn more about operating the connected caliper, setting them up, and just getting the most out of them, making sure you're getting precise measurements every time. That concludes the Kirby Curve system update video. We look forward to seeing where you take these features. It's great to have polygons, slots readily available right on tool. Post your successes on social, hashtag ShaperMade, that sort of thing. If you need any further clarifications, we have our support docs. That's all on shapertools.com and it's in the help center area. So that's a great place to start. And then you can always reach out on the community. Uh, we have a thriving community of people who are eager to help out and communicate ideas with one another. So uh, yeah, look forward to where you take this. Thank you for watching.